How's it going? The nighter on Greens Mountain. What do you think? It's going to be good this test. It's uh, I just rode the whole thing and it's um, it's tough to know where to go in places. You've got to really look where you're going because it's easy to make a wrong turn. But uh, you've got to look like these rocks are some easy lines and hard lines. Um, <laughs> you've got to make sure you take the right one, otherwise you can get in trouble. Hi, David Knight. <laughs> David Knight and Lee Martin. Oh, there's a combination. I got a question for you. <laughs> Since now doing this Greens Mountain test, on an international scale, I've done of all these really hard enduros and stuff like that. Where would you classify this in? Would, would you say, yeah, no, this is reasonable, or it's like, meh? It's, uh, it's how it should be. Oh, is it? Okay. Definitely, it's uh, if you put this in a world championship enduro, they would take it out before they even rode it because the FIM big wigs, we've never ridden a motorbike, so they'll be like, oh, that's too difficult. And then the Italians would kick off and the uh, Spanish would kick off. So that's, uh, you know, people will slate me for saying it, but that's just how it is. Yeah. You know, it's not enduro anymore. That is enduro, it's man and machine against terrain, you know, and you've got to get through it the fastest way. And like I was saying down the start there then, that it's not all about speed in here you've got to like i went the wrong way about three times so you know if i was to race it next year i'd have to really get my ass in gear yeah right 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 <laughs> 